everyone. Welcome to Yoga Upload. I am Maris Aylward. Today's video is a short vinyasa flow yoga practice for building strength. We'll strengthen the entire body today. Legs, core, back, and arms. I recommend this for intermediate students who are already familiar with most yoga poses. We won't go through a lot of instructions for the basic yoga postures. And we also flow at a slightly faster pace today. We'll start in mountain pose, flow through a strong sequence, and end with a few minutes of stretching. No shavasana included today, so it's up to you how much time you have for relaxation. As always, just do what you can, rest when you need to, and enjoy your practice. Let's start. Start in mountain pose at the top of your mat. Feet hip distance apart. Stand nice and tall, bring your palms together in front of the heart. Take a big cleansing breath, inhale through your nose. Exhale, open mouth. Now seal the lips and begin your ujjayi breath. Let the sound and the rhythm of your breath calm you down, help you focus. Dedicate the next few minutes of your practice to being fully present in your body. We'll start our flow. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Two more times, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale. Pause here and lift the torso about parallel to the floor. Keep the knees slightly bent. You can support your hands on your shins. Draw the belly in. Feel the strengthening in your core and your back muscles. We'll do this action again later. Take one more inhale. And exhale, forward fold. From here, step back, downward facing dog. Take a few seconds here to settle in. You might move the feet, the hips, or the head. Pause your movement in downward facing dog. Three plank waves. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, wave forward to plank. Inhale, pause, long line through your body. And exhale, wave back, downward facing. Two more times, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave. Inhale, pause. Exhale, wave back. Last one, inhale. Exhale, wave to plank. Pause. For this first one, drop your knees to the mat. Lower down, modify Chaturanga. Inhale for Cobra. And exhale to Downward Facing Dog. Flow through that sequence again. You have other options now. Lift the heels and wave forward to plank. Knees down or knees up. Exhale, lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Straight Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Keep your back heel lifted for high lunge, crescent pose. Balance on the ball of the back foot and reach the arms up. Leg strengthening, lunges. Exhale, lower your arms and bend the back leg more. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, lower. Last one. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Keep the legs strong. Add your twist to the right. Just a few breaths here. Mm 
and slowly mindfully come back to the center. Bring your hands down to the floor and from your lunge, turn to face the left side of your mat, the long edge of your mat. Turn your toes in, keep the knees slightly bent and like you did earlier in your half lift, bring the upper body about parallel to the floor, firm the belly, lengthen from your tailbone to the crown of the head. Strong core, strong back. Stay here if it feels enough or add on. Lift the arms up by the ears. Keep everything else the same. Stay strong. With your knees bent and that strong core, strong back, come all the way up to stand with control. Take a breath. Then find your warrior two on the right. Turn your right foot out, bend the right knee, arms up. Three flows. Inhale, arms up. Straighten your right leg. Exhale, back to warrior two. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Exhale, warrior two. Pause. Prepare for triangle. Press the right foot down to straighten the right leg a little bit more. Reach the right arm forward. Keep leaning this left shoulder back. Pause when you reach your edge and spin the arms. Rest your right hand just very lightly on the right shin or maybe fingertips to the floor. Firm up your quads and your core. Stay here or for that core challenge again, lift your arms up by the ears, keeping everything else the same. Breathe for three, two, one. Back to your warrior two, bend that front leg. Reverse warrior, wrap your left arm behind you, right palm up, right arm up. Gaze anywhere that feels okay for your neck. On your next inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale your hands down to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Keep your right leg up floating this time. And do three Plank waves. Lift the left heel up and wave to plank. Inhale, pause. Exhale, wave back, down dog. Two more times. Pause in the one-legged plank. And then back. Last one. Now it's your choice. Regular vinyasa or one-legged vinyasa. Lower down. Both feet down for your back bend. Inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Pause a few moments here. Big cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, open mouth. We'll do everything on the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Keep your back heel lifted for your high lunge, crescent. Lift the arms. Lunges. On your exhale, lower the arms, bend the back leg. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Plus one. Inhale, come up. Keep the legs steady. Add your twist to the left. Gaze at one spot. Relax your face. And carefully, mindfully back to the center. Hands down to the floor. Turn to face the right side of your mat. We'll work on that core strengthening again. Turn your toes in. Keep the knees slightly bent the whole time you're here. Lift the upper body, bring it about parallel to the floor. Firm your belly, lengthen from tailbone to crown. Stay here or lift the arms up by the ears. I don't have a lot of space here, but I lift my arms. Stay strong. With the knees bent and strong core, strong back, come all the way up. Pause for a breath. 
Find your warrior two on the left this time. Add your warrior flow three times. Inhale, arms up, straighten the left leg. Exhale, warrior two. Continue, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, warrior two. Pause. Prepare for your triangle, Trikonasana. Straighten the left leg. Firm up your quads, pull up the kneecaps. Reach your left arm forward. Pause when you reach your edge. Left hand to your shin or the floor, very lightly touching. Right arm up. Stay here or add your core challenge. Lift the arms up by the ears. Keep everything else the same. Stay for three, two, one. Back to warrior two. Bend that left leg. Reverse warrior. Left palm up, left arm up. You can wrap your right arm behind you if you wish. On your next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, the hands down to the floor and step back to downward facing dog with your left leg floating up this time. Three plank waves, one legged. Wave forward to plank and pause. We'll wave back. Two more times, lift the right heel, wave forward. Inhale, pause. Exhale, wave back. Last one. Pause in your one-legged one -legged plank. It's your choice, regular vinyasa or one-legged. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big cleansing breath when you get here. Inhale. Exhale, open mouth. Drop your knees to the mat. Forearm plank, first step. Bring your forearms to the ground, forearms parallel to each other. Stack your shoulders directly over your elbows. Spread your fingers wide, press the palms down. When you're ready, walk your feet back. So you form a long line from your heels to the crown of your head. Really strong here. Press your heels towards the back of your mat. Firm up your quads, point your tailbone towards your heels to pull that low belly in. Keep your neck long. Keep your breath going, almost there. Three, two, one. Gently release, knees down, hips down, untuck the toes for Sphinx pose. Forearms stay right here. Press the tops of your feet down to lift the knees from the mat. Press the hips and the pubic bone down to lift the chest. Soften the shoulders down. A few more seconds. Good stretch here for the front of your body. All right, second set of that forearm plank. We're almost done. Stay with me. Forearms are already in position. Come up, tuck the toes under, lift. If this is enough for you today, stay right here. If you want more, bring your feet a little closer together, then lift your right leg up. Hold that for three, two, one, switch legs. Left leg up for three, two, one, and release, hips and knees down. Second set, Sphinx Pose. Whew. If this is enough of back bend for you, stay here. Or you might work, into, uh, work towards Seal Pose. You'll push your mat away with your palms to lift the chest and the belly up. So you can be in either Sphinx or Seal. Last breath. All right, and release. 
belly down, chest down. And from here, I'll have you just turn around on your mat so you're resting on your back. And pull your knees into your chest. Big cleansing breath, inhale through your nose. Exhale, big sigh. Pause a few seconds here. We'll spend a few minutes here in some stretches and gentle poses after that strong sequence. Full body stretch here. Extend the legs on the mat, reach your arms up overhead. Point your toes, elongating the entire body from fingertips to toes. We'll add a side stretch here. Walk your feet towards the right corner of your mat and walk your hands towards the right corner of your mat. Form that banana shape with the body. You can go as deeply as you like. Make sure both shoulders stay on the mat. To add on, cross your left ankle on top of your right ankle and flex your feet. Enjoy that lengthening in the entire left side of your body. Take another full breath here. And uncross the ankles and switch to your other side. Walk your feet towards the left corner, hands towards the left corner. Find a good stretch there on the right side of your body. And if you like, cross your right ankle on top of your left and flex the feet. Begin to soften any tension in your face, your neck. And feel the breath become more steady and more smooth again. And last few seconds here. And release, uncross your ankles, come back to center, full body stretch again, reach up, point the toes, and pull your knees into your chest, go ahead with any movements that feel good, maybe rock gently side to side, massage your low back, do some circles. Reclining twist, drop your knees to the left, slide your hips to the right, relax your right shoulder on the ground. Gradually letting go of effort, gripping, or tension. Take one more full breath. And carefully release, come back to the center and switch to your other side. And drop your knees to the right, slide hips to the left, relax your left shoulder and your left arm down. Unclench the jaw, soften your gaze, or close your eyes. Linger a few more seconds here. And release. Come back to the center. Go ahead with any last pose you'd like to do before your relaxation. You might come to knees to chest again. You might move into happy baby for a few seconds. So here, whatever feels good. You worked pretty hard today. So any pose that completes your practice, go right ahead. 
And if there's nothing else that you need, you might relax for a few minutes in Shavasana, just um, how, how much time you have today, that's completely up to you. Make sure you give yourself just a few moments for relaxation, breathing, maybe a little meditation. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.